This one will be super quick because I fully support Karen in getting to that glass of wine and I don't want Dion to card me. Uh, so Restart a Heart Day. Basically, we are trying to create awareness about uh, CPR and AED use, and not only the AED use, but where AEDs are located. And like Mike said earlier, this is a really key message um, and the most powerful way to get that across to the community is to get people to tell their stories. So we're gonna start this off with a video from Victoria for Restart a Heart. So it was a normal day, just like any other day. Got up, play footy. I was fine after the first half, and then it just happened out of nowhere. My heart stopped. Complete stranger, Tony just jumped the fence, didn't didn't hesitate, and he started CPR on me. I was here at Wallen watching my daughter play netball. Stopped to watch the footy and saw that Liam had stopped behind play. The play had left, and and then he collapsed. We were so lucky to have a defib on the day that this happened with Liam because there was nothing that happened on the footy field that caused it, so you never know when you're going to need to use something like that. It saved his life. Because the club had an AED and they knew how to use it, I'm back at work and hopefully back next year to join my mates on the footy field. Anyone can save a life, I did, so learn how to restart a heart today. So it's a pretty simple concept with some amazing outcomes when that message is received and saving lives. Oh no, Frank, help me. Thanks. Um, so as David said this morning, this has been running um, for realistically four years. It started in Ambulance Victoria um, and it's been the last three years that um, other ambulance services across Australia and New Zealand have picked this up. Um, I think the most recent, so 2018, we really had everybody on board and, and places like Ilcor are starting to look at what we're doing as a collaborative and how we're actually trying to produce this message. Uh, so last year we held um, across Australia and New Zealand lots of different activities at schools, sporting events, uh, we had stuff at airports, uh, shopping centres. Um, and just trying to get that engagement through the community and just promoting that message. Um, a lot of the activities aren't necessarily happening on the day, they're leading up to the day, but we do use October 16th as the, the basis of trying to send that message out. So 2017 saw 10,000 people trained in CPR and um, some, getting some awareness around AEDs. 2018 we had 25,000 and our social media reached 2.2 million. I think Tony Walker might have been responsible for half of that. Um, <laughs> And as David said this morning, Frank, why am I, I think I skipped one. Oh, there we go, thank you. Um, so the messages um, for the past couple of years have been focusing on um, our poor survival rates. So the messaging has been around we can beat that, so we can increase our survival rates. Um, and this year, the Restart a Heart Day Working Group, so it, it's a representative from each ambulance service, have come up with a, a new sort of uh, campaign, and it's about time. So now we're focusing on seconds count and getting that message across of how vital time is in a cardiac arrest. And as David said this morning, and so now I can't play the guessing game of how many numbers we're going to get, is uh, 50,000 for 2019 is our goal of trying to train people in uh, CPR and um, awareness around AEDs. So I haven't actually seen this. Um, this is, so you're seeing this for the first time with me, so I hope this one works. We actually produced a uh, social media campaign with all the ambulance services um, in Australia. New Zealand, I believe, are also producing a, a similar message. Um, but this is the first time that we've all worked together to send one big message. So I hope this one works because it's new. You can help save a life in three simple steps. Approximately 30,000 Australians suffer an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest every year. Of these, only one in ten will survive. Someone in cardiac arrest will be unconscious and not breathing normally. We know this can be really scary. 
but there are some things you can do to help while we're on our way. You can help save a life in three simple steps. Call triple zero. Push hard and fast in the centre of the chest. Shock using a defibrillator, also known as an AED, if there is one available. Turn it on and listen to the instructions. It's safe and easy to use. If you're not sure how to do CPR, that's OK. The triple zero call taker will guide you through it. I'm here to help. I am here to help. I am here to help. We're working together to save lives. We're working together to improve survival rates. We need you to be part of our team. Together, we can save lives. Remember, seconds count in cardiac arrest. Call, push, shock. So we saw that as being a really good opportunity to um, send a message to the community that this, this isn't an isolated situation to different states and territories, that this is something that is global and this is our opportunity to send that message out together. So I'm really keen to see the New Zealand one. I think they'll have something really beautiful with their scenery. You can um, so this is where you guys all come in. So we want everybody in um, the ambulance services to get behind activities that your service might be doing. If you don't, um, if you're not connected to any social media things at the moment, then you need to actually jump on and start helping us send this message. I did actually have to ask my 16 year old what I'm tagging. And so she did tell me that I'm hashtagging it, I'm tweeting it, retweeting it, liking it, tagging it, sharing it and iHearting it. So hopefully you can all do the same and help us get that message out and beat that 2.2 million. Thank you. I told you it would be quick, Karen.